How is it going? Uh, my name is Arya and this video would take you through Instant Run, a feature of Android Studio 2.0 that Google demoed in their Android Dev Summit which was a two-day event and happened on 23rd and 24th of November. Though Google announced plenty of new features which they are integrating with Android Studio 2.0 like resizable emulator windows, a whole new GPU profiler for games developers and it is built on top of IntelliJ 15 and many more. But the feature that got the most hype was the Instant Run feature. Instant Run is based on the same ideology of HTML wherein a dev code something and just a simple refresh would deploy and integrate users changes to the browser. Instant Run sort of does the same thing. I have both the versions installed on my laptop. Android Studio 1.5 which is the latest and stable version and Android Studio 2.0 which is available in the Canary channel. Which basically means it is an unstable version and is for developer preview so there could be bugs while using it. Android Studio 2.0 can be downloaded from the website which is currently up on the screen which is tools.android.com slash download slash studio slash build slash 2 hyphen 0 hyphen preview and the link is also provided in the descriptions below. As I'm working on Mac I have installed the second link. Though the page says updating Android Studio 1.5 and installing the patch would download all the changes, however I tried that and changes did not appear on my Android Studio 1.5 which I'm going to show you in a second. This is Android Studio 1.5. I'll go to Android Studio, I'll go to Preferences, and I'll go to the option of Build Execution Deployment and as you can see, the option of Instant Run is certainly not available here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and I'm going to open Android Studio 2.0 in a second. I'm going to do it through terminal because I usually open my applications through terminal. So here is the window. I have opened it previously, so it's in my downloads folder. I'll just run it. It's opening. And because I'm using two screens, it has gone to the other screen. Now, if I go to Android Studio, Preferences, and under the same Build, Execution and Deployment option, there is an option which says Instant Run. Currently, the all the three options under Instant Run is grayed out. There could be two reasons of that. First, the project is not open. Second, you are using an updated and outdated version of uh, Gradle. But the beauty of Android Studio is just above the enable instant run option there is an option of updating your gradle because android studio instant run uses the current gradle version and it is as easy as clicking on the update button just above the enable instant run to update your gradle version i'll just click ok and i'll create a new project i'll name the project as instant run i'll click next i'll click next i'll choose an empty activity I click next, I'll say instant run again, oops, I did a run with a dot case you and I click finish. Now when it is opening, if you could see uh, just on the top bar it says Android Studio 2.0 preview, so that is the preview version of Android Studio. I close the tips, I'll go to my Android Studio preferences. And here you can see instant run and all the three options are now enabled. Now the first option is basically self-explanatory and it is default enabled. It basically does a transmission of your code change directly to the tablet emulator on any connected device. Un unchecking this option will actually do nothing related to instant run. The third option sh says show posts in the running app when changes are applied. What does, it, what does it mean is when your changes are being applied, when it's being transferred to the tablet or emulator or any connected device, it shows a toast message confirming that, the, that your changes have already been deployed. Now the second option restart activity on code changes, we will discuss it later when I show you the demo. In the demo we'll gonna make changes in the Java file and in the XML files. First I'll show the XML file and then the Java files and while updating the Java file I'll show you the importance of this feature restart activity on code changes. For now I'll just keep these two options checked and I'll say OK. I'll go to my activity file. 
because I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Tab S, I'm going to change it to Nexus 9. I move this. I'll just straight away run the application. Straight away running the application detects my emulator, sorry, my Samsung Galaxy Tab. I say OK and it tries to run a complete build procedure, basically a complete build cycle. Now, usually in the first run, it, the Gradle build cycle takes a longer time, but the coming builds will take a much shorter time than the first build. And as you could see on the tablet, the application appears and it says hello world. What I'm going to do is, first I'm going to increase the text of hello world. I'll say text size, oops, typo, text size, I'll make it 40 dp and I'll just say control R and you could see instantly, instantly on my tablet it says hello world and that is much more viewable. It has an increased size of uh, 40 dp. Now I'll change this from hello world to hello google and I say press control R. Now it says applied changes, restarted activity and my changes are there. They are there on the tablet. It says hello google. Now what I'm going to do is in the design portion, I'm going to just clear this error. I'm going to put a button and do a build again. Press control R. Now pressing control R will actually run a complete build cycle when you add a new component into your view. So my layout has actually added a new view into it which is a button and when you add a new component into your XML file it does a complete build cycle. Now as you can see on my tablet it says new button and it is appeared. Now I'll go to my code and what I'll do is I'll declare an object for button which is button and I'll initialize it with the normal procedure of find view by id r dot id dot button I'll cast it to button and I'll change its text to ah uh, sorry text to click me and I'll press control R now it does a complete build cycle again because I have initialized a new object whenever you initialize a new object in the Java file it does a complete build cycle now this option has appeared sorry my changes have appeared on the tablet and says click me on the button and the text is changed successfully now for the consecutive changes which is an incremental change it will straight away pass my changes to the tablet which is the feature of the synchron let's go and see that I'll say button dot set background color and I'll change the color to color dot red and I press control R now pressing control R says applied code changes without restarting the activity and click me the button the color that the background color is not changed to make sure that the change have already gone through to the tablet I'll press control R again and you can see down at the bottom it's above run it says instant run no changes because the changes have already been deployed but then why they are not appearing on the tablet now this takes us back to the Android preferences instant run and this option of restart activity on code changes when there is a Java code change this option needs to be checked in order for the activity to restart and force the change back onto the view now I'll say restart activity on code changes and I say OK and now if I make any change to it because I've already changed it to red and it's already been passed to the tablet I'll need to make another change and I'll change it to the blue I'll press control R and instantly you could see that the color had been changed on the tablet and it's blue now now if I want to change it to red I'll just say color dot red and I press control R and the changes have been applied again now as far as I have noticed while doing uh, while playing around with instant run uh, for now I think the complete build cycle runs when there is a change in the manifest file in the Gradle file adding a new component or declaring a new object 
and this feature is extremely useful when you're designing your layout and is by far one of the best feature I've seen in Android Studio. Now, I don't know whether this applied changes thing uh, on activity restart, the second option under Android Studio preferences and sent run, whether it's done deliberately or it's a bug. Uh, I presume that it's done deliberately, otherwise they wouldn't have given us the option to check it or to uncheck it. But the point is when this that option is unchecked and you're editing a Java code file, it, the changes will not make any effect, though they have been deployed, but will not make any effect. But that's not the case in XML. In XML, if the changes have not been deployed, uh, sorry, the option is not being checked, then also the changes will take effect into the uh, in, into your tablet, emulator, whatever the connected device is. So guys, uh, that's it for now for the Instant Run feature. Please leave a comment if you have liked the video and please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.